YouTube has showed me an interesting video. But while watching it, I actually really asked myself a question. Can we actually produce energy with LEDs? Well, to find that out, I'm going to have some and take some measurements. So let's see if this is actually real or it's fake. So let's get started. First of all, what's all the rage about it? Well, this video that I'm not going to play it actually shows that while using some transistors, you can make energy from the sun. Well, transistors are in a way or other also diets, so I have seen also a variation of LEDs. It doesn't really matter at this point if it's colored or not, but. Do actually LEDs really have the potential to, when light is shined on them, to actually produce electricity? Today we are going to actually find out this using a multimeter and let's see how many volts. As for my source, I'm going to use a 200 watt incandescent light bulb. That will be my mini sun. And so let's see what and how LEDs can surprise us. Okay, now let's experiment. So, here I have a multimeter, really just a regular multimeter, and all I, we are going to do first is that we are going to measure the voltage of one LED. So, let's turn it on. I'm going to set it to 2 volts maximum, and now I'm going to take an LED that we are going to measure, and of course the probes. Okay, so I'm going to measure volts and comment. Now, this which is connected to the black comes to ground, the shorter pin on the LED. Now, the red one comes to the longer pin of the LED, like this. And now, we're going to power it. Oh, you should already see. Okay, not enough. Now, hmm, not powered. Okay, sorry, uh, actually the black comes in com, I accidentally connected it here, but that would be wrong. Okay, so now I have the LED and as you can see already, um, the showing at the studio light already produces some voltage, but let's see what of a 200 watt bulb. We get 1 volt and well, almost well, 500 millivolts. That is very, very interesting. That's really a lot just for a small LED, isn't it? So we can confirm that LEDs, when you shine light on them, do actually produce some voltage. But now I'm going to show you something even more interesting, and it is this circuit over here. Now this is a circuit that I made on a breadboard, and it's actually quite simple. So let me explain. You basically have blocks of LEDs which the first two here for example in each series is connected in zero and then two uh, both serial lines parallel. Now all four blocks are connected parallelly on here. We have here a diode that prevents when we charge the capacitor to not let voltage back. So the capacitor will Act like the bag, like a monitoring battery, and will hold some voltage for us. And we are going to measure and then even connect an LED. So let's see. Okay, so now all we have to do is just disconnect this here, and then this is positive, we connect it to the red over here, and obviously ground. Okay, we already get a reading, that is because the capacitor has been already charged. Now, if I turn on my very powerful light, it's hard to maybe see, but the voltage is rising. Now I'm going to let this, the voltage rise, and I'm going to come back when it's full. 
Okay, so now voltage is not growing any more exponentially and it's now more steady. Now if I turn on the or off the light, you can see the voltage does drop for other reason, a bit annoying, but at least we can make some use of it and see if we can make this LED turn on. Let me just turn off the studio light and now that's basically just connected. Well, the capacitor from here and now this is correct it should light up we still have 1.2 volts and well the LED does not does certainly not turn on you would actually need two circuits of these to make more power obviously just like a normal battery the LED of course does not turn on so I used quite a lot of LEDs, a lot of YouTubers that do something with LEDs also at a CD that does not help. It's really just reflecting but it doesn't really help at all. I use a lot of LEDs and well, we do get some voltage. It's readable but not usable. Not in that much to really power an LED. But maybe if I made two of these only that I don't really have that many LEDs, maybe we could have got something. But yeah, I can all I can say and confirm with this is that the milliamps are also not um, how much required. And I'm going to show you that just by adding really at this point a little resistor. Let me just put this here and it will just drop in a bit. Ah, it has already dropped, I have accelerated. And you can see. Yes. Uh, now it's of course climbing up because the pseudo art is hitting the LEDs but you can see that oh well there wasn't a lot of amps in that or well, there was a few bit in one that I needed but what I want to say is that there are not a lot of milliamps that uh, this is producing and that's why we cannot drive motors at all and that would have been required we need milliamps to drive a motor but we don't have this mirror from Jeff we can't we don't even have the voltage to drive an LED. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back from experimentations and now we can only draw one conclusion that while LEDs can be actually a source of energy when light shines on them, oh well it's not really that efficient as a solar cell perhaps. So we can say that a lot of these videos are actually real when they are actually measured by a multimeter. But the videos that actually show that they are powering a motor, well, you can be pretty sure they are actually just fake. This is my conclusion and I hope that you learned something new. It is for me very interesting that LEDs are reversible, so that's something I learned on this journey of scientific studies. So yeah, I hope you learned something new and I also hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.